So Notion has just introduced a brand new property type. The purpose is to classify a project under three broad categories. What needs to be done, what's in progress, and what's completed. So one of the most important things I learned while managing projects is that clarity and action are critical for project success. The real question is, does the new property type provide that automatically? Keeping standard definitions will help build clarity and accuracy, especially when multiple people are involved in a project. But by wrongly classifying the status, different people will go off in different directions. This is where select and multi-select properties with overlapping statuses would not cut it. So setting standards is crucial. A project or a task would be clear under these three categories. Not started, in progress and completed. Project managers can this way see where everyone is with their work. Before we get down to what's new, you need to be aware of the difference between a task status and the project status while managing projects. Notion defined the default settings for task status in terms of the timeline for completion. On the basis of gold standards for project management, you can further break these down into nine different options grouped under three categories. So this clarity is what Notion is seeking to build by releasing these statuses. So you can thus weave a timeline and combine this with a project manager's response requirement under each timeline category. A project status report, on the other hand, provides a snapshot of a project with regards to time, quality, and budget. It needs to look at issues, risks, and solutions for these, for which you will have to revert back a select property. So what's new? Under each of these statuses, I can add more statuses. In the board view, for example, I can show every option as an independent column. So on the surface, the status property might seem the same as the select property, but then there's a lot more to it. So while I can define nine different statuses, they'll always be grouped into three different categories. The mapping of these nine options is internally stored inside of Notion. So I can either take this by group or option under the group that way. So in effect, Notion is providing with a third layer of grouping, especially when you use the board view. For example, the status property can be defined as a select or a checkbox type. So creating views by status is beneficial since you may have different individuals to track, to escalate, and to intervene for some specific statuses. While Notion defaults to three colors for each of the default categories, you can change the colors easily, especially where more flavor is required under the in-progress category. With filters, it's much, much easier to group the statuses and the option and can go across categories. Each option under the category are sorted in some order, which you can change manually by changing the sort order from ascending to manual. You can also hide empty groups to make the whole board look much neater because you paid more attention to the status and their colors. The timeline view looks much, much more meaningful, but you are missing a few important things here. A project status is not complete, even at the task level. If you don't look at the task priority or the percentage completion for intervention where required. So while it's a step in the right direction, I would sincerely hope that Notion pays more attention to more pressing project management features that are needed, like dependent tasks. Project workflows visual dashboards, and finally, integrations. Even simple things like task numbering are visibly absent, and dragging a task up a few rows would require the entire sequence to be redrawn, rather than it be automatically readjusted. So if you want to review some more videos around project management, I have one around a fantastic project management template and another one around the Gantt and you can find it in the description now. So if you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. 
If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.